say, go ahead and get married. But go you're going to find out the hard way, like all these other people you've heard call the show. Of course, you're different. Because the two of you have a very special love. It's a love like no other love. The two of you understand love and caring and understanding like no one else. And while others are out there and they think they love each other, they know a lot less than you at 23 years old with your 21. Is she 21? 25. She's a virgin at 25. Your 25-year-old girlfriend, the two of you know way more about love than people older than you. People who have experience being married and divorced, you two love each other so much. And the older people, they just don't understand what you already know. You've acquired knowledge. You know more than anybody else. The two of you have a very special love. A love unlike any other love that's ever been witnessed on planet Earth. The two of you walking hand in hand into the sunset, what does everybody else know? And just because so many people get divorced and so many women screw around on their husbands and so many women who had no sexual experiences at the prom or in college or anywhere else later on wonder what they missed out on and then bang everything that moves when they turn 28 or 30 or whatever, that is not going to affect you because you know more than anybody about love. Isn't that right, Andre? No, I know, hopefully no, same amount of those 45% who stay married. You, uh, but again, well, you know, I'm hoping I'm going to win the big spin this Saturday. I'm hoping. But you make seven figures. You don't hope that. You know what I mean. I hope Santa Claus is coming to town December 24th, okay? I hope so. I hope so, too. But he's probably not. The fact that you hope you'll be one of the 45% that stay married or whatever it is uh, doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. Uh, there are people who hope they were going to make it across the street before they were hit by a bus. The fact that you hope for something doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's unlikely to happen. Do you understand? By the way, with one out of two marriages ending in divorce, those are the people who actually get divorced. That's it doesn't count all the people who stay married for the sake of the children or who stay married because it's too expensive to get a divorce or stay married because they're uh, they're just miserable and they, they, they're depressed and they don't do anything about it. Uh, that, that's just the people who act on it. Out of the people you're talking about, how many people get married because they have to get married? How well, many I don't people... know how many do, but you're one of them. Sounds like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 866 Stop. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like you. Definitely don't like you. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Number one, again, in Southern California, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's not to say we're not doing well other places, but the numbers in SoCal came out today. Hey. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Kyle. He's listening to the online stream in Minneapolis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay. First time, long time, man. Thank you. Hey, I just got a quick question for you. Now, why do all these girls say they want a nice guy, but then... All of a sudden, you see him with the guy who treats him like total crap. Can you explain that to me? Well, that's like all the people. Uh, this is, I'm not making this up. If you ever, do you have a radio station in Minneapolis called like Mix or Variety or has a name like that, where they say things like they've got a bigger mix and a better variety of music? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the great uh, stories in radio. It's like one of these inside radio stories. Uh huh. Is that uh, people all of the time ask, why do stations play the same songs over and over? So they did research on this, and they found out that people wanted to listen to a radio station with a bigger mix and a better variety of music. That's literally what they said. Right. But here's the thing. When stations tried to play a bigger mix of music and a better variety, people started tuning out because they wanted to hear their favorite song at the time they tuned in, and it, they had to wait longer and longer to hear their favorite song. Mm-hmm. So, essentially, a bunch of people got together and agreed, we'll just lie about it. We'll say we play a bigger mix and a better variety and then play the same 12 songs over and over. Right. And people love it. And it's the same thing here. Women love to say they like nice guys, but they don't date nice guys. They date right. jerks. Right. Yep. I bet a lot of those women listen to stations called Mix. Gotcha. <laughs> I just... Don't understand women, Tom. Just when you think you found a good one, you know, the one you can trust. Nope. 
Well, that's my point. That's why you don't, you're better off leasing than owning. Right. You know, yep. you lease them, and then you you go fishing. You 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 catch one, you throw it back. So I guess as the saying goes, if it floats, flies, or messes around, <laughs> better to rent it. Or bleeds every twenty eight days. <laughs> you can't trust something that doesn't die after it bleeds. Right? That's right. Exactly. Oh man.